Hi guys, my name is Katie, or KB Does Art, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to texture our uh, Nintendo Switch model. So I think I'm just going to do like the stereotypical like blue, red uh, controllers, but you guys can go ahead and do whatever colors you feel like doing. Uh, okay, let's start with this blue controller. Go ahead and hold right click and assign a new material. Click on a shader. AI standard surface and then I'm going to change the color and I'm going to try and match that typical blue that you see. So just kind of do your best on getting the correct color. You can always change it later too if you find a better color. Alright, I feel like that's good. Let's do the red one now. Same thing, hold right click, assign a new material, shader, AI standard surface, and then you're gonna change that color to uh, that typical red color that we've got. Uh, oh, let's go to Arnold and click on a sky dome light. Now we have some light in our scene. Um, and then, I mean, we can really just start texturing all of like these little elements. So like this object, this, oh, these guys as well. Maybe it'd be smarter to just like select it all and then deselect the parts that aren't going to be black because most of it's going to be black. Okay, let's do that. Uh, so what I did is I selected everything and then hold control or shift and just deselect the controllers that you just textured. And then hold right click, do assign new material, shader, AI standard surface, and then just change that to be black. And then next thing is we're gonna need to grab the uh, faces on the screen because the screen is uh, like a, usually it's like a gray ish not black so I'm just gonna go through and I'm clicking one and then double clicking the next to kind of like select a ring um, actually I feel like maybe don't select that one because really you're just selecting the the flat screen part okay yeah I'll do that one all right, and then for some of these, you might just need to hold tab and just click and drag like this. Um, that works fine. It takes a little bit longer, um, but I don't think we can click and double click for this since it's a square, I think. Let's try. Yeah, I won't. Uh, so yeah, I would just go through and just scroll your mouse through ever so quickly. Um, and once you're all done selecting all of these, I will catch up with you. All right, so I've got them all selected now. So you're just gonna hold right click, do assign new material, shader, AI standard surface, and then just change it to be like that dark gray color. Um, and then I'll up the metalness a little bit. I want it to like be pretty reflective. So yeah, let's, um, click on Arnold and go to render. Then we can kind of see how the textures are playing. Oh, we got to change these guys. These buttons on top should be black. So go ahead and select those faces um, and then assign it to that black material. So you can just go to assign existing material and make it whatever the black texture was. And then same thing on this one. All right, there we go. Looking better already. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, 
I'm going to add in, if you click on poly modeling and click on the plane, I'm going to add a plane in for this switch to kind of sit on. I'm going to assign a new material to it, AI standard surface, but I'm going to change it to be this checkered texture just to kind of see how everything's playing off of each other. If you want to edit any of the individual textures, you can find them on the right. I was just going to up the roughness on these textures so that they don't reflect as much. And then if you want it to be reflective, like that screen, then you can up the, the metalness and turn down the roughness. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. So if you guys got any questions for me on um, texturing this one, uh, feel free to let me know. But that is it for this tutorial, so I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys!